baseball players who have spent time in jail. While we have seen many athletes we support and admire get into trouble, none have been as bad and as brutal as it is in baseball. This sport has had some of its toughest and greatest players spend some time behind bars. But what exactly happened that things got this far? We'll discuss it. Welcome to the channel. Today we will look at the top 5 baseball players who went to jail. Number 5. Jose Conseco There's no doubt that Jose Conseco has had a career that many people can only dream about. He has always been a great player throughout his playing career. Conseco is not only a baseball player, he is also a very successful author, boxer, and mixed martial artist. But he has also had his share of struggles and troubles with the governing bodies. Because in 2008, it was reported by the New York Daily News that the San Diego Custom Immigration and Customs Enforcement Facility detained Conseco. And the reason? For smuggling drugs in from Mexico. Yes, that is true. Who would have thought that an elite athlete like him would get into such a thing? It is reported that Conseco's vehicles were checked rigorously and they found a chronic human gonadotropin. This drug helps restore testosterone level that dissipates due to steroid use. Yes, this was a piece of huge news back in the time. And this was the thing which made Conseco admit to him using performance-enhancing drugs during his playing career. This was not the only time he was arrested, as Conseco was arrested in 1989 for carrying a loaded gun and in 2001 for two counts of assault and battery after a brawl in 2001. Number 4. Francisco Rodriguez Francisco Rodriguez is one of the fiercest and most competitive players in the sport and arguably one of the most valued closers by the time he retired. But it turns out, k also has a furiously bursting short temper which was unpredictable. And who else can you better take it off than your girlfriend's dad? After Rodriguez and the Mets lost a game against the Colorado Rockies, the furious Rodriguez came to his girlfriend's 53-year-old father and attacked him with all his power. Rodriguez was arrested for third-degree assault and was temporarily suspended by the Mets. Number 3. Mike Leake Mike Leake had one of the most impressive league debuts with the Cincinnati Reds in 2010, and it was one of the best rookie seasons you could have ever seen. But just as good as he was on the pitch, he was eventually bad at shoplifting. Let us explain. In 2011, Leake was arrested for shoplifting a couple of t-shirts worth $60 from a local Macy's store. According to Mike, he was exchanging a couple of t-shirts which did not fit him, but instead of seeking help, he did it all by himself. After this, he was caught by the security guard leading to his arrest. Mike pleaded guilty and was given a punishment of 30 hours of public service. Number 2. Derek Lowe Derek Lowe is almost a clean guy all his career, but there was one time when he crossed the line. In 2011, Lowe was found to be racing another car in Atlanta. This led to the cops being called, and he was then charged with driving under suspicion, reckless driving, and improper lane change. It was also reported that Lowe refused to take the breathalyzer test, which increased the suspicion. Number 1. Jose Offerman Jose Offerman had one of the best MLB careers of all time, but as if the first time was not enough, he returned a second time to play in the Atlantic League for the Long Island Ducks, and his return did not give him the fairytale ending he would have wished for. Offerman was at the plate in the game against the Bridgeport Bluefish in the second inning. The opposing pitcher, Matt Beach, drilled Offerman to the leg with a fastball, and he did not take this as a joke, as Offerman took the bat in hand and swung it onto the beach head, but it went on to hit John Nathans to the head. He swung his bat again and injured beach glove hand, which gave him a finger injury, but Nathans suffered a concussion which ended his career right then and there. 